Mr. Sam Pamisano, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy. For those who've been here before, you know that I always open with three points. <laughs> My first point, uh, of course, is about the occasion we have as a great honor to host the IBM Centennial Lecture, but also to remark how re amazing it is that you have a company in the technology business surviving 100 years. I asked my research assistant to do some checks, and apparently the average life expectancy of most companies in Fortune 500 is 40 to 50 years. A full one-third of companies in the 1970 list disappeared by 1980, and normally about one-third of Fortune 500 disappear uh, every 10 years. And if competition is bad, it's even worse in the technology business, as you all know. And if you had any doubts about this, I don't know how many of you saw this uh, report in yesterday's Financial Times. Doomsday memo from Nokia. You know, barely three years ago, Nokia was one of the uh, most profitable companies in the world. Today, the league CEO says that the company now stands like a man standing on a burning platform, torn between burning alive and jumping into icy waters. <laughs> That's the daily life for Mr. Sam Pamisano. <laughs> <laughs> And so, really, it, it, it is a great tribute uh, to the company that they have come 100 years, and it's also a great tribute that they're celebrating uh, this event. My second point is that since his talk is going to be about the ideas that shape a century in technology, business, and society, is to mention that in some ways, this century may well be the most challenging century for IBM, because you may remember the 19th century was the European century, the 20th century was the American century, and we all, I think, by now ex expect the 21st century will be the Asian century. And you can imagine the number of new competitors coming in and joining in the, in the fray, and this is going to be an even more challenging century, I think, for IBM and other companies. And that's why, frankly, it's extremely good that IBM decided to use this occasion to reflect on the more durable ideas and what really uh, keeps us going. And my third and final point is about our speaker. We're very privileged to have him because he began his career with IBM in 1973. He has served in Asia as a senior managing director for operations in IBM Japan, and he became president and CEO in the year 2000. He's a graduate of John Hopkins University and was awarded an honorary degree of, of Doctor of Humane Letters from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in 2005, and an honorary fellowship from the London Business School in 2006. Now, he's received a large number of business awards. Uh, I won't mention all of them. That will take a long time, Sam. But I do want to mention that something that's quite unique, which is that he's also been elected a member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, and I can tell you it's very difficult to get there. So, Sam, over to you, please.